So this is about here. So simply just we have to click on the 3D, then go to this export project. So here you will get this fusion options here. Simply just we have to click it here. So you will get this dialog window here. Simply just we have to click on save path. So here I've selected this fusion folder. So I'll just simply give a file name. Then after this, just we have to click on OK. And also just we have to define what this is starting frame. This is sequence starting frame here. Now just we have to click on OK. So project successfully exported. So now we are inside fusion and simply just we have to click on file, then open and just select your file which just you have exported from 3D Collider. So simply select now click open. Simply this is a loader or footage folder, just we have to drag and drop. So if you are not getting any footage here, then simply just we have to click it here. Then again, this is inspector panel and just again just we have to load our footage. Now simply press control F and just we can play and just check. This is a scene view, simply just we have to drag and drop here, then right click, then go to this camera and just select your camera view here. Then inside the inspector panel, simply just we have to select this point group, then adjust the density, so simply just we have to click on this cross and adjust this locator ID here. Because you can change color. Now just we have to select any point inside this camera view, then right click, then go to this point group and just select create a shape. So now here this shape is created, simply just we have to select this shape and so go to the transform and just first adjust this pivot point. So just we have to place the geometry on top of this grid here. So just adjust this pivot point, this one here. So uncheck this one and just make this y value maybe 10. So now just you can see. So this geometry is simply just placed into this 